Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see shafts in series. For that, let's get started. I'll draw the diagram first for shafts in series. Now here is the diagram for shafts in series. Shafts in series means it is a shaft which is made up of we can say two three stepped shafts they are combined like for example here there is a shaft having length L1 which is connected to another shaft having length L2 the diameters are different. Similarly we can have number of shafts in series depending upon their length and diameters connected together. So when we have a shaft in series and a torque is applied at one of the ends for this shaft in that case the conditions for shafts in series are that the applied torque would be same for both the shafts like for example here I have taken two shafts even if it would have been three shafts then also the applied torque remains constant for those shafts and then the angle of twist would be added that is angle of twist would be addition of angle of twist for shaft 1 and for shaft 2. I will write down the conditions over here. The conditions to remember for shafts in series are. Number one, the torque is equal for both the shafts that is T1 is equal to T like for example here it is T so that is T1 equal to T2 and the angle of twist which is total angle of twist theta it gets added. The unit of torque is Newton mm and for angle of twist it is radians and this angle of twist can be obtained from the torsional equation for rigidity criteria that is T by J is equal to G theta by L so therefore theta is equal to T into L upon Gj. So respectively we can put the values for theta 1 and theta 2. So whenever we have shafts which are connected lengthwise in series also called as stepped shaft. In that case the torque is equal for all the shafts and the angle of twist gets added. So this was regarding the shafts in series. At the end if you will find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.